How many dinosaurs can you name? Well, most people know about Stegosaurus with its bony plates or Tyrannosaurus rex, the fearsome carnivore tyrant lizard king. And of course, thanks to Jurassic Park, the Velociraptor. This is Dr. Scott Hocknell, a paleontologist with Queensland Museum. Welcome, Scott. Hi, Matt. How are you going? This is very much overdone. Velociraptor was actually only the size of a turkey, but Spielberg, fantastic, loved it as a kid. Yeah, not scientifically accurate. Yeah, great movie. But let's move into non-fiction and the biggest dinosaur that Australia mm. knows to date. You named it. This is Australotitan cuberensis. That's right. This is Australia's largest dinosaur. It's fantastic. It's an enormous animal, 30 metres long, six and a half metres tall at the hip, a huge long neck, eight plants, and lived out in western Queensland near a place called Aramanga 95 to 96 million years ago. So big in terms of Australia, but was it big in terms of worldwide as well? Absolutely. We're talking top 10 to 15 largest animals in the world. And this is our first cap in the ring for the largest animal to walk the earth. And what do you know about the life of this specimen, Cooper? Well, we found it about in 2007. And what we found when we started to excavate the bones was that it's actually been stood on. It's been crushed. It's been trampled on by another big sauropod. And this is quite amazing because perhaps that might be how the animal died, but certainly we know that these di gigantic dinosaurs move through the environment, tromping into the mud, creating these big pathways and uh, amazing features that are, are preserved there for 95 million years. So right now that area is a desert, so it would have looked a lot different all those years ago. Very much lush environment, big conifer trees, pine trees, ferns, lots of river systems. Now it's an arid plain. But just underneath the ground, only about two metres under the ground, is this extinct world. And that's cool. To find fossils like that of these gigantic dinosaurs, it blows your mind. OK, Scott, let's talk about another dinosaur you named. Australia's answer to Velociraptor. Yeah, this is Australovenator. This is the southern hunter. Australovenator wintonensis. So it's from Winton, so the southern hunter from Winton, central Queensland, uh, about 95 to 93 million years old. It's an amazing animal. It grew up to about five to six metres long, maybe 600 kilos in weight. But on the end of its fingers, these three long fingers with these 30 centimetre long claws, and it would use those claws to grab at its prey. So was it, was it fast? It was very, very fast. It was like the cheetah of its time. It had these long legs, very muscular long legs. Imagine a, 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 an emu running at, the, at high speed with, but with these huge long arms and would use those arms and those little claws to rip open its prey. What a, an amazing beast. All right, let's move to perhaps what might have been one of its targets, but at least this one had a little bit of armour to protect itself. Yeah, well, we're looking at Kumborosaurus, and Kumborosaurus is one of the most... Uh, complete Australian dinosaurs that we've ever found. And it was covered in armour. In fact, when you look across its body, you can see underneath its skin were individual bones. They're called ossicles. And every single part of its body is covered in this bone. It's like a chainmail armour. And this was protection from Australovenators from the attack from those big claws. All right, let's go big again. And something that was Australia's most widely distributed dinosaur, Mudabarosaurus. Yeah, Mudabarosaurus, I've got to say, it's one of the weirdest and coolest dinosaurs. In fact, it's probably our most iconic dinosaur. It's called Mudabarosaurus for a good reason. It was found near the township of Mudabara. But check out this nose. This, the nose of this animal is, had a huge schnoz, and that was probably for making very, very loud noises. Inside its skull were these chambers, and as it breathed in and then breathed out, it pushed air back through these chambers. So, like a goose making a honking noise, but imagine a three-ton goose, what sort of sound that would have made. Yeah, and let's talk about what was the first dinosaur that humans found in Australia, Retosaurus. So Retosaurus is Australia's oldest dinosaur skeleton. It's a big, long-necked, plant-eating dinosaur. Gets tipped off of the, the perch by Australotitan, Australia's largest sauropod dinosaur. But Retosaurus is pretty cool because not only is it the oldest dinosaur in Australia as far as its skeleton is concerned, but it's one of the most complete sauropods, plant-eating dinosaurs. So Retosaurus, Retos, is, is in, in name and reference to a god, a Greek god, and Saurus means lizard, so it's like a Greek god lizard. It's very cool. Very cool yes, name. and of course, these are just five dinosaurs, and there aren't that many that we've discovered, are there? No, Australia's right at the start of what we call our dinosaur rush. We are, we've, we've known about dinosaurs in Australia actually for over 100 years, but only fragments. And now we have 
uh, a large number of different species that are being found out in outback Queensland. There are gigantic footprints in Broome. Uh, even in South Australia, there are dinosaur bones, fragments. Northern New South Wales, you even have opalised dinosaur. And in Victoria, down in the south, there are heaps of different dinosaur species that are being discovered right now. So once we start painting a picture of that, we get to understand that Australia wasn't completely free of dinosaurs. We had lots of them and they were very much unique to our continent, to Australia. It seems like the golden age of dinosaur discovery. Dr Scott Hocknell, thanks very much for your time. My pleasure, Matt.